Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ingozi. If today is your first time of stopping by, I really appreciate that. And if you have not subscribed, now is the right time for you to do that. Click on the button, you know, by the right side and you will subscribe. And also click the bell button to give you a notification whenever I upload a new video. So today, I'm going to show you guys how I make keto almond bread. It is the quickest, the easiest breakfast that you can fix for yourself. And it takes just less than five minutes, you're done. I hope that sounds good. So if you want to know how I make this keto almond bread, then keep watching. Don't go anywhere. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. The thumbs up goes a long way in, you know, boosting up my video and comment and share with your friends if you find it helpful. So let's get to the kitchen. Let me show you how I make this bread. so guys welcome back to the kitchen this are the list of all the ingredients we are going to use to make this keto almond bread the first ingredient i'm adding there is my almond flour i'll be using three tablespoons you can use two or four tablespoons depending on the quantity of uh, you know how many slices of bread that you're making so with this three tablespoon i'm going to get about four slices of bread let me just adjust the camera so that you guys can see what i'm doing okay we now got what we want <laughs> so i already added a uh, the flour just in a bowl out to three tablespoon of flour so i added three tablespoon of uh, almond flour if you don't have almond flour you can use your coconut flour then after adding three tablespoon of almond flour i added a pinch of salt i didn't measure that just a pinch of salt after that i'll be adding one teaspoon no half teaspoon of a uh, baking powder which is very important just half teaspoon of baking powder So after that, I'll be adding the melted butter. I'm adding two tablespoons of melted butter. If you don't have uh, butter, you can use olive oil. Just two tablespoons of that will do. And uh, I'm adding now one whole egg. Just break it up, add into the, the dry ingredient. Oops, <laughs> we have to take that out. We don't need that. So you add all this ingredient in a bowl and uh, I'll be adding a stevia if you wish you can add but if you don't want to you can skip this step you know it's just for sweetening the, the bread I added just one sachet of uh, organic stevia then I just feel like adding a sour cream if you can if you don't want sour cream, you can still, you know, uh, skip this particular step. But I'm just adding just one uh, tablespoon of sour cream. And uh, you mix everything. If you don't have sour cream, you can add a heavy whipping cream. Just one tablespoon. Then mix all of them together, you know, to form a particular consistency. You mix, 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 mix all of them together. Oh guys, did you see how that looks like? So this is the mug we are going to use for the bread. Remember I said it's keto mug almond bread. So I'll be adding the remaining uh, butter. Just you see how tiny is the butter? Just add it into the mug. You know, we are using this to grease the the mug. We don't want the bread to stick to the mug. So Add the butter or olive oil or coconut oil. Just make sure or you use a cooking spray. Just make sure you grease the mug. And then you pour in the butter into the mug. And then put it in your microwave. Like I said, in less than five minutes, you have your breakfast right there before you. So this is the butter in the mug. We're going to put it in the microwave for just one minute, 30 seconds. Oops. Voila, the bread is ready. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try this bread. Oh my God. That looks so beautiful, guys. Could you believe that in just one minute, 30 seconds, you make your bread? 
Oh, wow. That's it. So, guys, the bread is ready. We are going to add some vegetables. I have them, my lettuce and the sliced tomatoes. So, and I allow the bread to cool down for just uh, 10 minutes because I'm really hungry. <laughs> so, I allow it to cool down, but the longer it stays, the more, you know, stronger the bread becomes. So, if you want it a little bit stronger, you have to allow it to cool down for at least 10 to 15 minutes. So, I slice it because I want it to, you know, I wanted like four slices of bread. So, I try as much as I can to get the four slices of bread. So, that's it. We are done with making the bread, the almond bread. You see, you see how soft and how uh, tender the bread is. So guys, this is how to make the bread. Just try making this bread and let me know what you think about it and whether you like it. So now I'm using turkey breast. If you have a um any other you know protein you can add to that so i'm using a turkey bread like deli meat and tomato and um the lettuce you know i want to make sure that i have you know the vegetables and the protein in my breakfast so guys this is it repeat the same step in the other two slices of bread and you have your keto almond bread thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think i love reading your comments oh guys we are done the moment of truth is here we are going to try the spread so guys we are done with making the the almond bread so now is the time for us to try the bread and see how it looks like so mm, so this is the bread. Let me show you. This is it. Mm. It's so, so delicious. So, you need to try. Mm. 